Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber once again and I just wanted to do a video quickly about uh, the How Do You Do token, soon to be rebranded the Hyper token and I have talked about it on the channel before but I have been holding this for a while also and I've noticed that it's just popped off a little bit so I just check it today and um, it's actually given a bit of a bounce, um, you know I have been holding for a little while on this chart and have seen it go down and down and down been taking some losses but those losses are not really losses because I haven't really sold but now we're starting to see it come back again and I've mentioned before that on the on the X markets chart it doesn't really give you an accurate reading of the chart structure so I'm not going to use that because I don't really like it all right but uh, we'll have a look on um, Cointrader.pro all right, if you don't use Cointrader.pro, it's an alternative to TradingView. TradingView doesn't have a lot of low cap coins on there, but Cointrader actually does. Uh, so that's what I use a lot of the time for some of my low caps. Now, on a four hour chart, um, what I'm seeing in this chart, right, and the reason I'm, I'm hopeful that we could see a big move, all right. So if we take our drawing tool. There's two patterns that we could potentially see on this chart, all right? So we could either see a triangle, if we go from that wick down here, and we line up that, we could see a triangle that previously had a fake out to the downside, all right? I like to call it a shake out, all right? And then it got brought back up, touch the top of the triangle again, and it's been slowly slowly waiting for this little breakout zone which we see here right so we could see a descending triangle or we could see if we draw it like that we could see either a descending a falling broadening wedge or just a falling wedge if we bring it like that and we line that up like that okay so three potential patterns that we could see there all right i'm actually going to go with the triangle only because i've seen many triangles that have done this kind of thing before uh where they've come down especially in bitcoin you see a lot of these when it comes down and you get a little fake out it gets brought back up and then eventually you get a breakout and you could even get a retest back on the resistance which will become a support and then a bounce up or we could just see a little consolidation and then uh, another move to the upside. Uh, if we lower the time frame, if we lower the time frame, you can see it mirrors that same move that we saw on X Markets. I was on the 15 minute chart. All right, so you can see it does look like a big move when you're on the 15 minute chart. The only reason I use the 15 minute chart on um, X Markets is because if I go on the one day or, or the one hour, or the let's go on the one hour and just show you. It's not okay. It is. It is showing up um, this time, but it's still not accurate. Like it says two one zero three zero, but up here it says two one two one three four eight. Okay, if we higher the time frame, say a six hour. All right, you can see. Look, that's saying one seven one four nine. That's not an accurate reading. Two one three four eight. It says up there, so it's not even showing that that upward movement. There, all right so that's why i keep it on a 15 minute 15 minute and even that's not accurate but when i'm using x markets and i'm just having a quick look i go more off with what it says up here because that's more an accurate reading of the price action okay well anyway going back to this chart now why do i think that this could be gearing up for takeoff okay so if we go on the one day i've also seen before these kind of patterns where you see this big impulse uh, price rise and you see the complete sell off and then you get it hanging around down here accumulation accumulation and then what you do is you can get a big u shape all the way up to the top right and even get rejected up here or continue to break out um, into new all-time highs all right now why i think it's possible for this to take off now based on the breakout of this triangle 
along with the uh, bullish MACD cross which looks like it's coming not come yet so we can't really say there is until this blue line crosses the red line in realistic terms all right rsi looks like it's getting ready for a curl to the upside as well you need to see a momentum shift on the macd to the upside also you can see an upside downhill and then uh you know a, a hill the right way up <laughs> if that's the best way to explain it right now but yeah uh it would be nice to see that and then you know see a big pump to the upside obviously it would need to happen you know gradually as that's happening but you see the volume right and as you can see over here you see the volume that comes in after uh but this is accumulation volume all right we've seen a pump here okay and the volume didn't just die off like that so you get it chopping around chopping around consolidation just waiting for the next move to the upside and that's what i believe is coming soon uh, another reason why it is hyper how do is obviously we run into hyper like we talked about before there is a, uh, I think the launch is the end of this month. Now, I was expecting the launch to be the beginning of this month, okay, which is why I bought my tokens early, right? But it didn't happen and it got pushed back, I believe, to around the 30th of August or at least the last week of August. So another two weeks, guys, and then we could see the launch of Hyper. I know they're going to be doing a massive branding campaign, uh, potentially lots of social media influencers and uh uh, as celebrities maybe i mean um i saw a tweet the other day that even altcoin daily is joining is, is migrating over to the hyper platform because of the youtube page um crypto page on youtube and stuff like that so uh, yeah definitely some interest building around hyper they've actually got a, a partnership with wells fargo one of the biggest banks in the world i think it's the fourth largest bank in the world all right, so that's interesting to know. And like I said, the branding is, is, is you know, is much better. Hyper It's going to migrate to the Hype token. You can already see that it's already being listed on here as Hyper, H-Y-P-R-R. -R. And uh, yes, yeah, definitely something that uh, is catching my interest at least. All right, so yeah, we're expecting that launch to be the end of the month uh, sometime and um that could cause some waves in the market big partnerships the chart is setting up well for it as well i mean a lot of time you see people like i mean it's the last two weeks before this potential launch right and um we're getting the breakout now so we might even see the price increase all the way up until the launch and then maybe a sell-off at the launch who knows i did buy an early like i said you know i'm well prepared for what's going to happen if it does if i am right if i'm wrong you know i stand to lose a little bit of money maybe hold it for a longer term depends how i'm feeling about you know how it looks after the launch or whatever but if i'm right then there's a lot of profit coming my way uh, let's hope that i'm right guys all right so yeah it's just a quick one about hyper and, and the you do token you can currently buy it on x markets you can also buy it on uniswap now one thing I'll show you about uh, the chart on Uniswap, all right? It's still called You Do on Uniswap as well. well. If you look at the Uniswap chart, this is what happened today, all right? <laughs> I mean, as opposed to the the move that we saw on on the uh, on the other chart, right? 195 percent move, yeah. Faked out all the way up there, and now it's come back down, all right? So that's Uniswap for you and uh going back to um going back to the coin market cap chart all right realistic terms is it wick, wick down so you go from the bottom of the wick and we say it's really only a 33 percent move all right guys so be careful make sure you're looking at the right charts when you're jumping into these coins all right and uh yeah let that be a lesson if you didn't know it already and yeah i think that's about it guys just a quick one um oh, i can see that uh, safe haven is popping off now as well if you saw my video earlier i said that i was expecting it to come back up here and break out so now we're getting a nice lovely breakout on there so yeah looks like some profits are definitely coming my way um wonder how far that move can go just bring that down so you can see it around the one hour okay let's go on the four hour right yeah, so we've definitely got a breakout up there. One candle body close. You just see the second candle body close. 
that'll be around midnight tonight um, roughly at 1am over here and yeah wake up in the morning to some nice profits on safe haven as well all right this is my fourth video today despite it being my birthday so i hope you appreciate the efforts guys because i'm trying to bring these to you um just like the purpose of this channel just to share share with you what i'm doing what i'm looking at all right every coin that i'm showing you i'm actually investing in myself all right so um yeah Guys, I'm not going to lead you to uh, the swamp, so or, or the or the quicksand, so you can sink. You know, lead you there and stand by the side. No, I'm I'm going to jump in with you, not not into the quicksand, but you know, into into you know the bathtub full of money. All right, all right, guys. Yeah, so that's it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you again in the next one.